and uh, he'll be running for office next year. I'll watch you. Thank you very much, Derek. Appreciate it. Great job. And thank you all. The remarkable testing capacity that each of you has made possible, it's not only helping our nation to defeat the virus, that horrible, horrible, terrible, disgusting, angry virus, it's paving the way to get America safely and responsibly back open for business, and that's what we're doing right now. We're doing it right now. It's happening very quickly, a lot quicker than people thought. Our strategy for a phased and gradual reopening protects our most vulnerable citizens, and you know who they are. We've learned a lot about that, especially in the nursing homes, while allowing younger and healthier Americans to get safely back to work and go to school. I think in the fall, you're going to see the schools all open and in great shape. The best approach to protect the health of our citizens is to focus our resources on safeguarding those at highest risk while allowing those at lowest risk to go and resume economic activity, including education. A key element of our effort to reopen, revitalize, and rebuild America greater than ever before is bringing critical industries back to our shores. As the workers of Maine know well, and that's for many decades, Washington politicians shipped away your jobs, outsourced your supply chains, and offshored your industry. It's probably the number one reason I'm here today. Although, I was going to say uh, another politician, probably they wouldn't be here. They wouldn't bother with it. To me, it's very important. I had a savior fishing industry. So easy, so easy to do if you want to do it. But we, uh, we really talked about this for a long time. Our companies would leave us. They'd fire everybody, pay no taxes. They'd go to another country. They'd make the product. They'd sell it into our country with no tax, no nothing. Well, we ended up with no jobs. Empty buildings, empty factories. You had them in Maine all over the place. But we're uh, changing all of that. We've made tremendous trade deals now. Tremendous trade deals. The U.S.-Mexico-Canada deal is an incredible deal. Incredible deal for our country. And many other deals. We just signed a deal with China. But unfortunately, in that case, the ink wasn't even dry. And all of a sudden, the plague came in. And so I view it a little bit differently, perhaps. But they've been living up to the deal. They're buying a lot of a lot of things. They never had any deal. They just came in and took advantage of the United States, took out hundreds of billions of dollars a year. So they don't do that anymore. But it's a terrible thing that happened. But as the global pandemic has shown once and for all, the United States must produce essential equipment, supplies, pharmaceuticals, and technologies for ourselves. And we cannot rely on China and all of these other countries that, in bad times, take advantage of us and rip us off. We don't do that anymore. We're moving things back into our country. That's why the United States is now engaged in a great national effort to bring industries, factories, and jobs back to America where they belong. We want them back here, just like you're doing it. We have other, other places all over the country. Of course, they're not as good as Puritan, but they're pretty good. <laughs> and I'm committed to ensuring that our country will be the world's premier pharmacy. It's going to be a pharmacy, drugstore and medical manufacturer. We don't make our medical products here. We don't make our drugs here that we need, our desperately needed prescription drugs or otherwise. In my administration, we live by two simple rules, buy American and hire American. So just in ending, I mean, I'd say for centuries, the people of this great state of fish the oceans and farm the fields and work the factories that have supplied and sustained our nation. And then they went through a very bad time, very bad time. Right here in Guilford, generations of proud Maine patriots have poured out their heart, sweat, and soul for this country, making the critical products produced by Puritan. And now Puritan is doing better than it's ever done, I guess, by a factor of a lot, right? Right? You know, they call themselves associates. See, in the old days, it said they were the boss. Now their associates are very smart. I said, that's very smart. But they've done a great job as associates. You're all associates. Each of you now carries on this extraordinary legacy and exceptional heritage serving our nation at this very historic time. This is a historic time. This is a very important time for our country. You see what's going on? 
But a lot of good things are going on. A lot of things are going on. Very big thing happened, though, today when we saw numbers the likes of which we've never seen in the history of our country. Good timing, because people look at that and they say, hey, this country's great. We've done things that nobody else has ever done. It was good, just good that they see that, right? Good timing. You and your families are making momentous contributions to the vitality of our country, helping us reopen, rebuild, and most importantly, saving lives. The workers of Maine have always been loyal to America, and while I'm your president, this government will always be loyal to you. Just ask your fishing industry, how's Trump doing? Because they can't even believe what happened today. 5,000 square miles of ocean that you couldn't touch. They just wrote it off. President Obama, he signed. You couldn't use it anymore. They took it away. I gave it back. With your help, <laughs> by the way, I said, why'd they take it away? Nobody knew. You know, it's okay to take it away if it means something. I mean, but nobody knew. With your help, we will vanquish the virus. We will get our nation back to work, and we shall build our glorious future with American hands, American grit, and American pride. And I want to just thank all of you for being here. You're very special people. This is a very special place, and it's a great state. And thank you very much. And get that other half, by the way. Get that other half to go with Trump, okay? <laughs> you, you, I don't have to worry about. It. And I think they'll be there, too, because there's a very, very important election coming up. The most important. It's amazing what's happened, and you've been a big part of it. Thank you very much. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you.